good morning students last time in business study we have seen the chapter planning the beginning the definition the meaning of planning today we are going to discuss the advantages or importance of planning now advantages or importance of planning few very important points we are going to discuss here so let's see one by one the advantage the benefits the importance of planning planning now planning means to decide in advance now just example i would like to give you you have to go maybe take an example like uh, simla goa or any other place like mumbai or maybe a place like uh, bangalore or maybe chennai or maybe any place or outside india maybe america maybe uk maybe other countries so what do you do you plan in advance you think in advance that how i will go uh, how much money i will require where i will stay what i will do there how many days i will stay there what activities i will do there so if you think all these in advance and then after you start your journey and you reach there then your journey will be more more successful but without thinking directly you have gone to a particular place and then after you have realized that it's very difficult now maybe you are a bit short of money maybe when you reach there you come to know that all the hotels are closed right now maybe even once you have reached there and you wanted a work particular place that place is right now not working or that place is right now closed so what i mean to do say okay you have gone by train or by maybe highway and suddenly you come to know that maybe a certain issues are there in the train or maybe highway or even in the plane also so if you do all the preparations in advance the thing is what that your destination you can each, uh, reach very easily without any kind of obstacle or any kind of problem so advantages of planning if you are writing in the exam it's not necessary that you should just read the book and write that you close your eyes you think that you have to do certain things after a few days and today you are starting preparation take an example you have the marriage at your home now what we do marriage may be after 2 3 months but we start the preparation 2 3 months in advance so that at the marriage day everything will be perfect so this way we are writing the advantages of planning for the business also the first advantage of planning is pra- planning provides direction planning provides direction now once everything you tell to your employees that this is what we have to do this is our aim our production is this one this product we have to make we want this much quality we want this much quantity we want this target to be achieved in this much time this is our method this is our location this is our machinery these are the people with whom you have to work these are your subordinates these are your superior this is your accountability this is your authority this is your responsibility all the things if you tell to the workers in advance then they can easily easily just move to that direction and can easily work in a proper efficient way by chance if employees not have any idea then they will be confused what to do and what not to do so in advance if we inform to employees our workers that this is what we have to do how these things we have to do where these things we have to do what is the way that we have to do these things all the stuff all the things if we tell to our employees then there will be no problem in future अगर हम हमारे एम्प्लॉज को एडवांस में ही बोल देते हैं कि ये आपको करना है ऐसे करना है इतनी क्वांटिटी हमें बनानी है इतनी ऐसी क्वालिटी हमें चाहिए इतने टाइम में टारगेट पूरा करना है अगर यही सारी चीजें हम एम्प्लॉज को एडवांस में बता देंगे तो वो अपने डायरेक्शन में अपनी दिशा में से इजीली विदाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन वो आराम से काम कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज वॉट आई से प्लानिंग प्रोवाइड direction to entire business second point of advantage is planning reduces the risk and uncertainty 
मैंने आपको पहले भी बोला है कि सपोज एक एग्जाम्पल दे रहा हूं कि हमें मुंबई जाना है एडवांस में अगर आप एडवांस में तैयारी कर लेते हैं तो शायद बीच में जो प्रॉब्लम्स आने वाले हैं या मुंबई जाने के बाद जो प्रॉब्लम्स आ सकते हैं वो कम हो जाएंगे क्योंकि आपने एडवांस में प्रिपेरेशन कर लिया है सिमिलरली इन द बिजनेस आल्सो इन द कंपनी आल्सो इफ यू डू एवरीथिंग इन एडवांस इफ यू मैनेज रूम मटेरियल इफ यू मैनेज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉपरली इफ योर लोकेशन इज परफेक्ट इफ योर क्वालिटी इज श्योर इफ योर क्वांटिटी इज श्योर इफ योर वर्किंग मेथड इज श्योर देन अनसर्टिनिटीज कैन बी reduce listen uncertainties are having two types one is man made uncertainties and one is a natural uncertainties natural uncertainties ko duniya ka koi insaan avoid nahi kar sakta lekin jo man made uncertainties hai example de raha hu ki bhai 5 din baad 10 worker kaam pe hi nahi aaye aapka planning pehle se tha hi nahi aapne plan kiya hi nahi tha kyun aapne pehle se 5 ya 7 worker advance mein aapne spare mein nahi rakhe और अब पांच वर्कर काम पे नहीं है तो आपका पूरा प्रोडक्शन स्टॉप हो सकता है और एक बात दस पंद्रह दिन बाद आपको पैसों की बिजनेस में जरूरत है आपने एडवांस में पैसे बचा के रखे नहीं है रिजर्व में रखे नहीं है तो प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है तो ये सारी अनसर्टिनिटीज है तो आपको इसके लिए चैलेंज में पहले से ही रहना पड़ेगा सपोज इन प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन जो अभी कोरोना की वजह से काफी बिजनेसेस हैं ऑलमोस्ट 95 परसेंट बिजनेस बन पड़े हैं अब उन्होंने पहले से प्लानिंग कर रखा होगा जिसने भी किया होगा कि भाई हमें फ्यूचर में ये प्रॉब्लम्स आ सकते हैं जिसने प्लानिंग किया होगा वो इस सिचुएशन में भी कंपनीज को कोई इश्यू नहीं होगा बट द कंपनीज विच हैव नॉट प्लान प्रॉपरली नाउ फेसिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम देन मे बी दे विल हैव अज इश्यूज इन अपकमिंग डेज so that's what i say planning reduces uncertainty also and risk also now point number 3 planning reduces overlapping and wasteful activities now what i mean to say overlapping and wasteful activities ka matlab hota hai sometimes we have limited resources we have limited transportation we have limited raw material we have limited workers we have limited uh, other resources transportation we have communication limited resources are there we have limited machinery everything we have and more important we have limited money so now different ways are there by which you can use all these things now what i have to do in advance i have to use all this in the best way best way first i have to just keep 5 6 7 8 10 ways in front of me now what i will do by this money by this machinery by this material what is the best way that i can use in my business so can i so that i can get maximum profit i have 100 rupees in my pocket i went to market i can go to hotel also for eating i can purchase something for myself also i can donate it to someone so what i mean to say i will just think about best use of that 100 rupees similarly in the company also best use of resources should be there but this is only possible if you plan in advance if you plan in advance you think about different areas where you can use that kind of resource and then ultimately you will resource uh, use the that resource in such a way that you will get the maximum satisfaction from that second thing is what that control will will be there what i mean to say let me come to another example right now <coughs> you have a budget of some something like 5 lakh rupees a certain event like marriage is there at your home and 5 lakh rupees is your budget now you will use that 5 lakh rupees in such a way that in between if any wastage is there you will stop that in between any kind of misuse of that money is that you will stop that because you have the limit of 5 lakh you cannot go beyond that similarly in the company also in advance you know that this is my limit this is what i have so you will use that kind of resource in such a way that if any kind of misuse is there if any kind of wastage is there you can just avoid that so that your business will not be suffer for that purpose okay planning promotes innovative ideas now innovative ideas means something new you have to think in your business a creativity i am talking about so in the business planning requires lot of thinking planning is an intellectual process so what i mean to say planning is not that early morning you wake up and you think something and you do that that is not planning there is only thinking planning means that think a lot and better option you select 
So what I mean to say, higher authority, executives, many other concerned people will be sitting together for many days and then different ideas will be collected from them and best idea will be selected. So what I mean to say, planning brings the creativity. New ideas will be given, new knowledge will be given, new information will be given by the higher authorities, by the concerned people and from that a proper planning has been made. So what I mean to say planning is an intellectual process, thinking process which brings creativity, which brings new ideas in the planning. Next point, point number five advantage is planning facilitates the decision making. Now planning as I already said that we think something in advance and then after we try to go for different alternatives, different options, then after ultimately a manager or a head of the business will take the proper decision by chance if there is no planning in the business and directly you have started the business it is impossible very difficult for the head of the business for the chairman for the md for the ceos for the managers for the department heads to take the certain decisions because work is scattered at different places there is no surety what to do and there is no surety what not to do so confusion is always there but when there is a proper planning in the business a person particularly related to the business authority i mean to say they can easily take the decision without any kind of confusion so that's why we can say that planning is also help the business to take the proper decision now point number six, the last point is planning establish the standard for controlling. Now in planning what we do, where we are right now and where we have to reach. So in between that whatever process is there we have to complete it perfectly. This is what our standard performance is there, this is our actual performance is there and this is what we want right now. So what we have to do, suppose. I am standing right now at uh, one particular place like uh, maybe Surat and I have to go to uh, maybe like uh, Baroda or Ahmedabad. So from Surat to Ahmedabad that is my destination. So beginning point is Surat, ending point is Ahmedabad. So in between that workers have to work in such a way that at a proper time, in a proper way you should reach to Ahmedabad by chance. Four hours are given to you to reach from Surat to Ahmedabad but you reach in five hours so it means that one hour extra you have taken that means corrective action is required second thing you have reached maybe to uh, Ahmedabad maybe in less than four hours maybe three hours maybe three and a half hours that is okay but the car you have taken the bus you have taken the vehicle you have taken got punctured two three times or maybe additional maintenance cost is there right now so business have to tolerate extra expenses there so what I mean to say that business wants two things effectiveness also and efficiency also both the things business requires so what I mean to say here is that planning in that what, what is your actual position where you want to go and where you are right now in between that suppose after reaching to the destination in the business after doing the entire production suppose if your production is up to the mark perfect without any kind of disturbance without any kind of uh, miss, uh, I can say that the conduct of any kind of resources or anything like that then what I mean to say the work is absolutely perfect but suppose if your work is not up to the mark you have to make thousand shirts in one month in the business now you have made only 900 shirts in one month that means your target is not achieved second thing you have made 1000 plus shirts in one month that is absolutely wonderful no doubt about that your target is achieved so where the target is achieved no need of any corrective actions but where the target is not achieved the performance is not up to the standards then corrective action must be there so that's why we can say that planning as well this is the standard for controlling these are the six points of advantages of planning i hope you all got it clear now next time in bs we are going to see the least advantages of planning thank you very much have a wonderful